First, you wanna grab two of these dog feeder bowls from Dollar Tree. I used my heat tool on the top of the plastic part just to kind of help the plastic become just a little bit softer. So that way I could cut a hole at the top of it just using a sharp box cutter. And then I went ahead and just hot glued the clear plastic part to the bottom black parts for both of them. You then just wanna grab some newspaper, tissue paper, or craft paper, scrunch it up in a little ball and place that into the opening of where the dog food comes out and where they eat out of. And then just use some blue painter's tape or masking tape and just begin taping that right up. And since this dog food bowl also had some grooves in there I wanted to cover that up as well so I just added a little bit more blue painters tape around where the uh, clear plastic part matches the black part and then again just covering up those grooves just so I have a nice flat surface then go ahead and just grab some more tissue paper newspaper or craft paper whatever you decide on just cut it right up and you want to just scrunch it up as well Trust me when I say the more wrinkles, the better this is going to look, especially if you want that weathered look. And then once you have that all scrunched up, just go ahead and just start cutting the paper into some small strips. Go ahead and grab some Mod Podge, or you could also use some school glue, Elmer's glue with a mixture of water and just start applying this all throughout. And wherever you place the glue down, just make sure you put a strip of the paper of your choice right over it. And again, this does not have to be done to perfection. I like that primitive look, so I was fine if there was wrinkles, bumps, whatever. It didn't, bo it didn't bother me at all. So you wanna just continue adding the Mod Podge or mixture of the glue and water all throughout and just keep adding more of that paper. And you wanna do this for both of them, or if you decide just to do just the one, that is totally fine too. And then if you have any excess along the edges, just use a pair of scissors and just cut that right off. And then just to seal and protect the paper, just go over the entire thing with another coat of some Mod Podge, and you wanna allow this just to completely dry. I just allowed mine to sit overnight. I find that that is just a lot easier than using a blow dryer or your heating tool to speed up the process. So now it's the next day and these are completely dry. They're nice and hard and perfect. So the first boot I'm doing is with Waverly Chalk Paint in the color ink. Now you could paint these the same color, but I just wanted to kind of give you guys a visual of how two different color boots will look. So if you want to do the same color for both and just kind of put them together somewhere, that would be totally fine too. Um, but the second one I did was Folk Art Chalk Paint in the color Imperial. However, you could also do Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Crimson. So you want to just give these two good coats of that color and then just allow everything to completely dry next i grabbed these heavy duty mop head pads from dollar tree flipped it face down and then just used a box cutter to cut these right in half go ahead and just kind of take off any of that excess fur because it will come out and then just find a good placement for it around the top of the boots. And I'm using a mixture of this Dollar Tree adhesive glue with some hot glue and then just go ahead and place that mop pad right on top. And again, just do that to the other one as well. And then you could add some Christmas greenery picks Whatever you want to put inside of these, I think will be super cute, but I thought these would just make really great centerpieces. Again, I did two different colors just to give you guys a visual of what the two colors will look like. So I'm definitely going to place these in two separate parts in my house, but there you go, guys. 
I think these came out so amazing. I hope it inspires you guys to create your own in your own special way. If it did, please be sure to sprinkle the love. Thank you so, so much. And I hope you'll have a good rest of your day. Thanks. Bye.